Thank you. There we go. Yeah, I was just one space off. Well, it was good. I got all the way out, out to here before I, I totally messed up. All right, welcome back to another episode of Forest Village with your host, Midnight. We're still trying to finish off the bridge to nowhere. Or the bridge to somewhere. We're getting close, though. Taking them a long time. It's really the only thing that I have people working on building right now, so it should be relatively quick. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make it over to this other land and see if we can't get, like, a castle started or some other type of um, civilization going. Yeah, uh, hold on a second. It tends to be pretty loud. All right, I just dropped it way down. Let me know if um, let me know if it's okay. Yeah, Forest Village is kind of frustrating with the sound. I always have to tweak and alter the sound. All right, let me just recap where we're at because I need to make sure we're still doing okay. We have uh, plenty of wood. Our firewood's a little bit low though. I have two guys doing firewood, so I, I'm looking okay. How's this sound? Let me know. I, I just lowered the sound a lot. Let me know if it's still too high. I can lower it again. Our food is doing okay. 1300 food. Seems better. You want a little lower? I can go a little lower for you. Make sure our storage is okay. Oh, excuse me. Had a hard time sleeping last night, too. Our storage is looking okay. We're, uh, this is still a little bit too high. Okay. Alright, wait for that to catch up to you, but that should be, should be much better. I'm hoping. All right, let's see. This is set to oats. Good. What is this set to? Flax? How much flax do we have? Yeah, we still need to work on flax. Much better? Okay, cool. Yeah, Forest Village is weird. The, the sound is, like, beyond high. Uh, you need to harvest this, bud. What are we... We're in spring. Oh, we're in spring and we're not planting. Wait a minute here. What's going on? Uh, that would, that's really screwed. Yeah, we need to pay attention. Okay. There we go. Now all the farmers are on. We're going to flip this over back to potato. Cabbage is not, you know, I don't get cabbage. Because I couldn't harvest all the cabbage out. It was... I just didn't, it didn't come out fast enough. Uh, does it say real time? You made yourself some late night scrambled eggs. Oh, did I turn off the eggs? Yeah, they can't eat eggs. They're not allowed to eat my eggs, man. <laughs> Let's see, what do we have here? He wants vegetable pie. What else? I put down two other bakers. What are they making? Got one guy making bread, another guy making fish pie. Which is good. But why aren't they harvesting... You got eggs in here? Uh, no. It should be collecting eggs, unless this is full. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I had to switch over. I got a little bit frustrated with that other one. I need to do some more reading on that. We're almost completed our bridge. We got our village going. I'm going to start, try to start. Oh, interesting. Well, the chat is always behind. There's no way you can get around that. I think over here I want to put a castle in. Or a keep, what they call a keep. I want to start my little castle area over here. But I need them to finish this bridge first, because that's the only way we have to get across. We have plenty of logs, we have plenty of everything. Matter of fact, I'm gonna... We have so many things, I'm gonna take all of these... 
stone guys and whatnot off. Yeah, I I know it's got well, it's kind of tough. I didn't expect anybody to really know the game. It's uh, I saw it on the E3 videos, and uh, it looked kind of interesting. It's you know it was relatively inexpensive. I think it was like nine bucks or something. Buildings on fire, ten bucks. That's not on fire. I still haven't figured out what the caravan stables do, but I think I need two of them, right? It's to transport goods back and forth. I have my expeditions out. Doesn't come back till fall. Hopefully, I'll get something decent. We've got 63 people still working on getting up there. Almost got this bridge done. Looks like I'm missing one connector piece of the bridge. Let's go back. I think it's this section right here. All right, let's put that down. Yeah, tornadoes. No Godzilla, unfortunately. Disease. Though I haven't seen any disease yet. Um, you know, if you play Banish, you'll get several types of disease. You'll get disease in with your crops, and then you'll get disease um, with, with your people. But I haven't seen any yet. No, totally. I mean, if you can get, you know, some of these games, it's like, I I almost don't buy uh, the AAA sixty dollar games anymore. I mean, there's no, there's almost no point because you can get such great value with with these little games. Oh man, I might have not built that right. Does that have a space? Does that look like a space to you guys? Oh, I might have foobarred this. Man, they better be able to jump across that. That's all I gotta say. Otherwise, that's hosed. <laughs> he was caught on deck. I don't know if it's a spooky bridge. It's a long bridge. I'm hoping they don't freeze going across, but... I have plenty of food. It's almost self-sufficient. As long as I don't run out of storage space... I think I'm okay, and I started to put down some of these castle barns, which are supposed to hold, hold significantly more. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I almost don't have to worry about any of this stuff anymore. It just kind of runs. This one piece might not work, though. I might have to demolish this and start again. Because it seems like I'm off. Matter of fact, I am off. I've got to gotta pull this down. Hold on. Dang it. Let's pull that one down. Oh, and I have to go in order of demolishing this. Oh, I almost had this bridge, too. One little error. Yep. I think this this piece is totally off. He almost demolished the whole thing. As, as soon as he takes care of that piece, I'll lay I'll lay another one down. Yeah, I'm the same way. I tend to buy them, though. I do buy new games, though. But I, I, I'm finding myself only buying them... Um, ...during the Steam sales. Like when it's a summer sale or a winter sale. I've come close. Like, I wanted to do GTA V, but then... I was like, there's no way. It's I mean, GTA V is still selling for like 40-something dollars. Yeah, he walked a long way around because there's no connecting. There's, it's not connected. Oh, these 
These guys are killing me. Come on, fix that. Thank you. All right, let's let's line this up better. Yep, that's where it's supposed to go. So these other pieces have to go away. Dang, that's was not what I was hoping for. Yeah, if you look at the ratings for Tropico, Tropical 4 was the main one. That was like their claim to fame. You know, I liked the Tropical series as well. I, I played up to 3. I didn't get 4. I thought 3 was kind of lacking. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree. 5 is like... They have... I can't... Uh, so many download content thing. It just wasn't wasn't worth it. And I heard 5 wasn't that great. I heard it was a waste. Hopefully they get their act back together with 6, but I don't know. We'll see. I gave up on Sim City. I haven't played Sims since two, maybe? Oh, you jerk. You should have finished that off. Oh, we got this one barn that's totally full. Same with this other barn. A couple castle barns I put down. There's another one over here, right? Yeah, people start walking that far. Yeah, I, I couldn't do five. I have a buddy that plays five. He's a big Tropico fan. El Presidente! I mean, I like the concept. I, I'm a city builder. I like city builders. I, I like all games. It doesn't really matter. But... City builders are kind of fun. They're, they're they're relaxing in their own way, their own stressful way. I was playing um, City Skylines. I was doing one of their traffic scenarios. That was not <laughs> very relaxing at all. Uh, when you put a timeline to stuff, it, it, it ceases to become relaxing. All right, let's see if we can place this other bridge piece. Thank you. There we go. Yeah, I was just one space off. Well, it was good. I got all the way out, out to here before I, I totally messed up. The oldest game I still play? I just started Call of Duty again. Uh, but that's not the... Well, is that the oldest game I still play? Yeah. I think it is. I was thinking about playing like some really old games, but I loaded up. I don't know if you ever played Mist by was it? Um, what was their name? Kyan, Cannon. I forgot the name of the the. Did I build this wrong? Oh, what an idiot! How big of an idiot am I? Let's stop talking to you guys. I built this totally wrong. Um, Canon. I, I don't remember what the name of the, the company, the main company was, but I started playing that again and I was like, oh, I remember how good that game was when I first started playing it. And now I, I it's, it was just so old. There was one game that I was playing. I, I like broke out the CDs. I still have like Age of uh, Crondor. Um, all of those games. I mean, if I had the time to bust out the, C yeah, if I had the time to bust out the my CD thing, I I would I tell you some of the old ones that really old ones that I still have. But I tried to play them, and I just couldn't I couldn't get into it again. 
though I like them. Like, I really want to play Descent again, but I don't even know if that would hold up. Descent is, uh... Tool reserves are low. I have 72 tools. How is that possible? 18,000 food. I need to stop making food. Oh, I'm having a problem here. I have a little bit too much stuff. Did you ever play like those uh, Betrayal at Crondor? It was written by uh, Robert E. Fest, which I like his series to begin with, his book series. That was pretty good. That was a old, very old RPG game. We're talking late 90s. All right, let's see. Good. And the expedition should be coming back too. Let's get this lined up. One, two. And how does this work? I gotta get rid of this bridge. Shucky darn. Let's see. All right, I think next year I'm not gonna do any food. I mean, that's pretty risky, but... Expedition came back. Crew would not return. What? Expedition lost? Are you kidding me? Oh, that means you have to build the boat all over again. Oh, my God. That's hardcore. All right. Take all my farmers as laborers now. Let me up my builders. These guys are almost done with this one piece. Almost got the bridge to nowhere done. As long as they built that piece correctly, should be okay. Yeah, there's a lot of games coming out of E3 that I'm interested in, though. I'm interested in the, um, uh, the Star Wars Battlegrounds 2, and no, no morale. <laughs> right, they didn't get to tell why they didn't come back. They just said, crew will not return. <laughs> um... And and the new Call of Duty I'm interested in getting. Two first person shooters. I haven't played first person shooters since Quake and Doom. I stopped playing at Quake. That was about the time that uh multiplayer online games came out, the MMORPGs came out. So I kinda of flipped from my first person shooter days to that. I think I want to turn these guys to grain. Let's put these to wheat. And this to wheat. Let's up these guys to flax. And another one with flax. Okay. These other guys, I don't think I'm going to... I don't really think I'm going to do anything with these guys. There's really nothing to do with them. Grass, I have plenty of hay. 
Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have them come back and do anything this next winter. Call of Duty, yeah. I, I didn't do Modern Warfare. I came close to buying Battlefield. I think I actually... I, I did the... Um, who are they? I want to say EA or, or, or uh, Origin. Whatever I think Origin is, EA. Not too sure about those guys. But I did their... What is it called? Their yearly pass? Their yearly pass actually gives you access to some pretty good games. It's like over 30 or... Well, 20. I think it's over 20 games that you get access to. One of them is... I believe it's Battlefield. So I, I kind of want to start playing Battlefield. Battlefield 1 is huge in the first-person shooter community. I don't know why it turned out to be so good, but... Yeah, I got burnt out on them, too. The MMORPGs, I... I was heavy, heavy into Asheron's Call, which was like... It was like the second one. Um... EverQuest was one of the first, and then Asheron's Call came out. Asheron's Call really got me because of the complexity of it. When you bought the game, if you chose to be a wizard, they didn't tell you anything. They didn't tell you how to create spells. They said, okay, here are your spell components. Now you need to go figure it out. And the beauty of it was, is that it was random for everybody who wanted to be a wizard. So if somebody turned around and figured out how to research Fireball, then um, you, you couldn't pass the spell off to somebody. So that was neat until somebody figured out whatever the algorithm was for that. And then it kind of, you know, they, they gave everybody the hack for it. But then like crafting anything, you wanted, you wanted to make fire arrows, you had to go through this process to make fire arrows. And it seemed kind of at the time, it was like, oh, I've got to spend an hour making arrows. But now it's just so, everything is so point and click and washed down. I think now if you play... World of Warcraft, you can get, what, to level 25 in like an hour or something? I, I can tell you, when I play World of Warcraft, getting to level 25 took me uh, weeks to get to level 25. Oh, I need... Shoot. I need charcoal. Start making some charcoal. How many charcoal do they need? 40? Oh, man. Are you kidding me? Alright, the bridge to nowhere is almost completed. Yep. This needs a hammer or two, and it's good. Alright, we're going into spring. It's uh, like 30 something degrees. Let's put two guys on here. Two guys on here. Two guys here. Two guys here. Two more guys and two more guys. We're gonna leave these other empty. Somebody died? Who died? Oh, died of old age, okay. Yeah, I was okay with Origin until they put out, or EA, whoever, until they put out um, SimCity. That one SimCity that was just so much hype invested into it. Millions and millions invested in hype, and then they released a shitty game. Really disappointed with them. Oh, the other one is FIFA 18. I'm trying to get into, like, the, the FIFA soccer games. I've never really played sports game. But I started playing the FIFA 17. Man, that's pretty cool. I suck at it. I've never been a controller guy. So I've had a really hard time. But the way that the game is done for production quality, I thought is awesome. The the sports commentators that are that are commentating throughout the entire game. And then the game itself, I thought was really neat. I think there's a lot of purists out there that just say oh it's not realistic and it's not great or but for there's only like one other soccer company out there i think they did a dang good job
All right, let's get this keep down. I've been wanting to get this keep down for a while. Let's see, where is this keep? There's keep one. And let's put it... I think I want to put it like right here. Where's my... Yeah, okay, maybe right here in the middle. I have everything except for the stone. Wow, that takes up a lot of resources. All right, let's drop it right there. And let's get some people on stone mining. Clay digging. This is stone mining, right? Where's my stone mine? Stone mine is right here. Yes. Let's get four people on that. Yeah, I picked up Blood Bowl too. That was on sale. Thought about giving Blood Bowl 2 a try too. Let's we'll see how it is. If I could remember any Spanish from my Spanish days, which I don't, <laughs> I don't remember any Spanish. That'd be good. I could have it commentating uh, the sports in Spanish. Uh, I'm like starting to see some lag. I'm not too sure what that's from. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I gotta let this food go down. This food is taking up a ton of my inventory space. Wow, this is the first time I've seen lag going on in this game, but I'm, I'm definitely getting some lag in this game. All right, let's start making the cast iron. Yeah, the soccer's pretty good. I, you know, the games aren't full 90 minutes. It's, it turns out to be like, mm, roughly about 20 to 25 minutes per game. But it's a pretty intense 20, 25 minutes. Of course, I, I, I'm not very good at it, but mainly because I've, even though I've owned a console all my life, I never really played console games. My console is more for media than it is for for video game playing. All right, they're working on the keep. It's going to take a while to get all that stuff over there. I lost a fisherman. Uh, I think that that was probably one of the other guys that died. Let's see. I don't need these gatherers. There, there's too many food collecting people already. Well, I can tell you. Uh, who was it? Maybe it was deliberately bad advice. I don't know. Somebody told me the magic number for these. So if you go and you start looking at some of the... the in this series, I think it's like towards the end. Um, they'll give you the dimensions for this. I think it was... Um, well, here, what, what is it? Let me see if I can lay it down. Yeah, I'm getting some lag. I don't know why. What is the dimension of this?
Yeah, 10 by 22. That might be wrong. It might be 10 by 21. But that is just two people. It just, it goes over from, from uh, one person into two. And it seems like they can always harvest. Yeah, it seems like they can always, it wasn't you. Uh, it seems like they could always harvest that. Was it you? Michael, was it you? Somebody, somebody told me this. But man, I tell you that 10 by 22, that is, that's the number. I have so much food now. It's, uh, it's amazing. Now the problem is, is I have, I have a storage problem. I need to let this food get down to like 10,000 or something before I start it up again. It's just too crazy. The moment I put in this keep though, I started experiencing some lag. And it's going to take them a while to haul everything over. It's going to take them a long time. Oh, you learned it from our... Yeah, I don't know who, who offered that. It was a really good suggestion. Really good suggestion. Yeah, the the big the best thing or the biggest thing of advice I can give to anybody about this game is start slow. Just go slow. Uh, this is um, Forest Village. It's um, Life is Feudal Forest Village. Now Life is Feudal has three different titles, but this is their Forest Village title, which is very similar. Matter of fact, they even admitted to that they copied Banished. They they took the idea from a game called Banished. So it's very similar to Banished in that sense, except it's it's a newer game. It's got more different graphics and slightly different gameplay in the sense of how people, uh, the needs of people are different. The, the starving is a little bit more aggressive. The heating and, and housing is a little bit more aggressive. So, good game though, but this is the first time I've seen lag on it. This is, I'm getting some lag for the very first time on this game. And I think it has to do with something with either it's the bridge that's causing the problem or it is the castle that I'm putting down that's causing the problem. I'm not entirely sure what's causing the issue, but one of these guys. Well, you're talking about builder games in general? A, a bunch of new builder games coming out? There's a couple of really cool builder games I want to take a peek at. Yeah, Ancient Cities, right? But Ancient Cities has... Um, it's more of an RTS kind of thing, too. Aren't you defending against other people? Very similar to... Uh, what is that? Something like Knights and Castles or something like that? Kingdom and Castles? Sorry, I'm totally dehydrated from yesterday. Spent all day in the sun and then, of course, it's Father's Day. Had way too much alcohol. Not a good combination for a 95 degree day. Oh, building's on fire. No, no. Put it out, put it out, put it out, you little rats. Good. So one thing I have is plenty of wells. I put down wells all over the place. Yeah, there's another one that I want. To, it's called, uh, oh man, Atomic Something, which is a builder game and in a post-apocalyptic scene. There's also another game, which I can't remember the name of it. 
I have them bookmarked somewhere, but it's a builder game in kind of the Wild West setting. I'll have to look them up for you guys. They're both in, in not even in early access right now. They're, they're kind of in, well, what used to be the Project Greenlight and are hoping to be released in, in early access within the next year. But they look really good. They, they look really impressive. I like the Western one. But I haven't tried like the Anno, the Anno games. Those, they're city builder games. They're supposed to be good, but I haven't, I haven't played any of them. Somebody just started playing the Anno. It's the older one. Uh, ten fourteen or something like that. That's supposed to be their best city builder game. Atomic Society, yes. Okay, that was that was the other one. That was the post-apocalyptic one that looked really good. Now, the other one was a Western one. Do you know what the Western one was called? I saw it in like uh, the top 10 builder games coming out in 2017. I don't remember the name of it off the top of my head. All right, we're getting our boat rebuilt because we lost our expedition. We're still kind of working on We just finished this bridge, which was awesome. It took a long time to get the bridge going, but we're getting the keep started up. We almost have all the resources in. We've just got to get a little bit more in here for these resources before they can start building the keep. And then I think I want to start building around this area as well. I want to um, put some houses down over here and... Uh, 1404, right, right. Yeah, they said 1404 was really good if you're gonna buy the Anno games. That was the one that you should buy. Oh, finally, okay. I've got this rebuilt. Oh, let's go after animals again. I have plenty of tools. I have plenty of clothing. They can get water really fast and then we can get the the rest of those pies up and running. We get another another expedition up and running. Can't believe I lost that expedition. So horrible. Why is this guy Oh, cuz I paused it. Why did I pause it? That was weird. How long has it been paused? It's pretty bizarre. Yeah, it was a top 10. Yeah, it was a top 10. It came up in one of my recommended. It looked good though. The Topic Society looks really good. And then the, the Western one, I like just, I like the concept of the Western one. Let's have this guy. Get rid of this wolf. Duh. Out of there, Wolfie. Yeah, I almost got up, but then I'm like, my my recording schedule is already crazy. I don't know if I had time to squeeze in another one. Oh, somebody wanted me to put in a watchtower. Hold on. Oh, the radius on this watchtower sucks, though. Really? How about we put the watchtowers in by the castle? I don't want to put a watchtower in here. The radius is really bad. Now you said I had to upgrade it like three or four times. Somebody asked me to, to put that in there. All right, food's at 12,000. I'm not going to do food again this year. I've got my grain at 1,800, which is good. I think 
flax is 3,000. Yeah, yeah, we're in, we're in really good shape. I'm going to take people off of this one and this one. And... The wheat? Where are we at with wheat? Uh, we're, we're really good with wheat, too. So what is this? This is grain. And this one is flax. I don't need either. Grain is 5,000. All right, everybody's coming off. There's no need to have any farmers on. Take all the farmers off. We're going to skip one whole year. Now, this could be really, really bad, but we're going to skip one whole year. So, 12,000. 12,000 food in winter. Let's see what happens by the time I hit next winter. I think probably it's going to be... I don't know. What's your guess? My guess is somewhere around 8,000. If we do that, ultimately, we can do two seasons without... Lords and peasants. Mm, I don't think I've seen that one. I'll go take a peek at that one. All right, veggie pies, fish pies. Who's doing... You're doing bread, you're doing fish pie, you're doing veggie pie, right? Yep. I'll flip you over to meat pie. Okay. Good. Depraved? The western one was depraved? It's not ringing a bell. No, food doesn't doesn't have a durability if that's what you're thinking. No durability for food. Once you harvest it, you've got it. It's a good idea to have durability in there. That'd make it a little bit harder. Tavern still. How much alcohol do I have? Got 10 barrels of alcohol. It doesn't ever seem like I go below 10 barrels of alcohol. They non stop drinking. All right, how we doing? We finally getting this going? Oh, still, they're still working on moving stuff over here. They got a vast majority of it over there, though. All right. Well, I don't. I think we've been playing this for a while. Let's go ahead and save this. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. If you guys like the series, please put a like. If uh, you have any comments, leave the comments in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate your support. Right. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. Please remember to hit that like button if you like the video and subscribe to our channel so you can stay on top of all of our latest video releases. I release content almost every day. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.